Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest XI Ultimate Watch Through. We are going to begin this episode by teleporting to Helidor City. I mean, not Helidor City, Helidor Region. Oh wait, we can't. There must be like a cutscene or something that's going to play. Let me exit over here and see what happens. Alright, so something is preventing us from being able to teleport right now. So let's just exit the town and see if we can teleport once we leave. There must be like some cutscene that this is gonna play. That's what I'm thinking. That must be the reason why. Um, also, you can feel free to explore the, the new shops that are here now. What is that? Loading dot dot dot. <laughs> okay. That's odd. Okay, so what happens? Is there a cutscene? Aha! There is a cutscene. It kind of reminds me of Legend of Zelda. So Sparky Spots, there's no new Sparky Spots, but if you go to Misk, you go to Info, and you go to Defeated Monsters, go to View Nearby Monsters, because that's where we are, you'll see a bunch of new monsters that we need to get in our database. I'm going to fill out my, my B-Street over time. Once I fill everything out, I'm going to make a complete guide. I'm also, like I said in a previous episode before, I'm also going to include when the monsters come out during the rain and snow and just stuff like that to make the guide even better for people. Okay, whoa. Oh yeah, and all these enemies are malicious now. You see his eyes are green? That's mo This is an upgrade from the vicious enemies in Act 2. And our characters are still low level except for the main hero. So I don't want to do too much grinding. Uh, right now, my main concern is really is finding the metal slimes, but let's get started here. I'm just gonna clean them out. I want to at least um, I want to at least build up my database a little bit. All right, multi thrust. So, so my weaker characters have a chance of getting wiped out here. I I don't know if I get my levels back. I really hope I do, and my skill tree as well. I had, oh, uh, Eric was a beast. I had him so, I had him perfect. And then they took that all away from me. Let's, uh, let's uh, boost up the main hero. Because sword dance is better than multi dress, that's why. Oh. Healer, healer, Serena. Sword dance. There we go. Wonderful. <laughs> Fucking Serena. Oh, these guys will level up easier. Especially once we get to metal slime grinding. Okay, so that's gonna be added to our beastry here. Info. Defeated monsters, malicious black dragon. They can drop serpent soul or serpent skin. And they're found in Hellier region, Hellier sewers, and elsewhere. So I'm just going to go around the region here. Our goal right now is to head to the Emerald Coast. And before I head there, I'm just going to fight monsters along the way. So I'll start up my playthrough soon. Okay guys, so I'm coming down towards the Emerald Coast now. I'm missing two enemies, but that's because I have to change the time of day. Or I think I might have to go across to the other side of the region to get towards them, but I don't feel like doing that. I just want to continue the story, because I'm going to build my base tree up later. Once I get through most of the game. So here we are, damn little close. Now should be a cutscene that plays, I believe. It... It's enormous. You can say that again. What the heck is it? 
It's giving off waves of... Oh, I don't know what, but... Whatever it is, it's certainly not pleasant. Well, then it can't be Erdwin's lantern, can it? We need to do something about it, whatever it is. But how do we even get up there? Well, well, dear Luminary. It seems you were in quite the pickle. Huh? <gasps> <gasps> but how? Mordigan, you're alive! You're seeing me as Mordigan now, you say? How very intriguing. Well, no need to panic. I'm not Mordigan. It's me. The one you people call the Seer. Wait. How can you be the Seer? Oh, anyone can be the Seer, my young friend. Or should I say, Seer can be anyone. Depends on how you look at things, really. Anyway, we can't have you all on edge like this now, can we? One moment. <gasps> there. Now, where were we? Ah, yes. I was having a lovely vision of you all, riding Cetacea to see the Watchers. Um, what the heck are you talking about? Let's just say that the hallowed tones of the Flute of Legend will carry you to every corner of the land, and leave it at that, shall we? The what of the what will what? Honey, you're not making any sense. You don't have much time, you know. I wouldn't stand there gawping like that if I were you. I don't know how legendary it is, but we do have a flute. Do you think this could be the one? Well, it's the only one we've got. Can't hurt to give it a go. mention us riding something called Cetacea. Oh my, she couldn't have meant that, could she? Hmm? What's that gormless grin for? Anyone would think you went flying around on whales for fun. Well, I'm game if you are. All aboard! We've got a whale to catch and some watches to meet. Alright guys, so the first place that we have to head to is Heavens Above, I think it's called. I don't remember where that is, though. Uh, I think it might be... Oh wait, I think it's this place actually right here. This might be... Heavens Above, yeah. Let's enter this place. This place is insane. Who builds a town on a rock in the sky? Long ago, all was peace, all was harmony. Yggdrasil blessed us, faithful servants of World Tree. Hmm. <gasps> <gasps> 
but shadow fell. Horror from above. Calasmas. Now shadow falls again. Perhaps he returns. Perhaps. Calasmas. Dark one. Hater of life. Bringer of death. Luminary. Cetacea Rider. No time. Come, speak with Elder. These will be the Watchers that Seer Lassie was on about then, eh? It seems they know something of the Dark Star. Come, let us speak with their Elder. Alright guys, so if you press uh, square, you'll see that we have a lot to explore now in this, in this place. Remember when we were here last time? We had nothing to explore except to head right up these stairs and enter the uh, Temple of Dawn, I think it was called. So let's uh, go around and see what we have in this in this uh, new town now that's not destroyed from Mordagon. Let's go explore this little small place first. So basically what we do is we, we walk around and we enter these little pads here. And they transport us to the other side. Uh, we're just gonna look around for like treasures or anything that we can find. There's no, there's that, there's only that one sprocky spot still, the color, colorful cocoon that you guys will probably want to pick up, since it's used for forging. And I'm just gonna enter and try and find stuff here. Okay, so we got some barrels. That gives us st Sing's ashes. All right, so once you grab that Sing's ashes, let's head northeast here on this platform. And this is going to bring us to the northeast island now, which has an item shop here. Okay, so let's head around here. There's a breakable pot that's going to have a sainted soma in it. And there's nothing over here. So let's head inside and see what's inside here. Usually they'll have uh, either more pots or something. Ah, here we go. 100 gold coins in there. Okay, so I don't see anything else. Let's uh, access the item shop. There's really- Oh, there is an upgrade. Serum stick? This is a little bit better than what we have right now. But I'm not sure if I want it. So these angels robes are actually pretty good. 46,000, they give you a 50% chance of instantly being killed. Reduct. Insta death protection. That might come in- That might come useful. For those mimics. That always have a chance to insta kill you. And if you're playing on Draconic mode, this uh, probably be very useful for you in that mode. Uh, I don't, I don't really want to upgrade anything. I think I'm fine how I am right now. Okay, so I don't want to head to the other side yet, where the church is. Let's not head there. Let's head all the way back to the beginning and let's head to the inn side this time. Okay, here I am all the way back at the beginning. I'm just gonna go all the way around until I reach the platform over here because this is going to take us towards the inn. So let's get on this one here. And this time we'll go inside the inn here. So inside the inn, there's breakables. And this breakable is going to have a Technicolor Dream Cloth. Now let's leave this island and we're going to... This time we're going to take the one right beside here, the one to our left. So we'll just go around here. Also, you can grab this here while we're here, the colorful cocoon. And we're going to enter this... Uh, this uh, platform. So let's check out this this little house. And we also have barrels to smash right beside that book. Perfect panacea. And that's all this here. So let's make it a right turn and let's head up here. All the way up this uh, cliff. All the way up this little hill here. All right, so let's let's enter. would wake for Luminary, but no. Listen, tell Watcher story. Look. It 
ancient times, Kalasmos comes, seeks power, power of Yggdrasil, brings evil, monsters, miasma, destruction. But Yggdrasil sees, sends savior. Erdwin, luminary, ancestor. Rides Cetacea, crosses Erdria, gathers companions. Drusten, warrior. Serenica, sage. Morkant, sorcerer. Join forces, make sword of light. Long battle, dark one defeated, peace returns. But if they beat him, What's he doing back? Not know. But know this. Your birth. Your coming. You are light. Light to banish dark. But how? Not know. Seedlings. Huh? Seedlings of Yggdrasil, seedlings know all. <clears throat> seedlings, yes! Give gift, follow, Temple of Dawn. Okay, so let's grab this chest here. And this is going to give us the ultimate key. This is the key that we need to open all those uh, silver cages. So we're going to be putting that to use in maybe the next episode. I'm not sure. I might do it next episode, I think. I'll see um, when the best time for me to do it is. And we'll collect all those treasures that are left in the silver, locked up in those silver cells. Okay, so now we're going to head down, all the way down, and enter the Temple of Dawn. That's where at the very entrance. Okay, here we are, the Temple of Dawn. Ancient, sacred, protect land, remember. Feeling here, remember, but not dark one, not how to beat. But ceilings below, on land, three ceilings. These two remember, perhaps how to beat, perhaps. Guiding light here. Raise hand. Wait, the mark. that light just gets squished down into that little thing? Guiding light. Flame of Yggdradon. Creator of Erdria. Awakens power. Power of Luminary. Will be useful. Help to find, find how to beat. Here, Elder. Hmm? Uh, ah. Ah. Elder! Must awaken power. Power of companions. Elder walks, praise be! Companions have light, light of hope, must kindle, strengthen, 
leaves of interesting. Children of World Tree, shine forth. Zelda and his companions learn new spells and abilities. New panels have been unlocked and their character built. Okay, so it looks like we got everything back now. That's great. Nice. Zelda also remembers all the places he's visited. He's now able to return to these locations at any time. Oh, yeah. I feel amazing. Some say light brings dark. Luminary brings dark one. Not so. Mistaken. Luminary must end this. Great ink dragons. Blessings. Hmm. Oh! Oh! Elsa! <laughs> Waking tires, Elda. Walking tires, Elder. We will carry. Very well. To the lands below. Let us seek out these seedlings. <sighs> okay, guys. So before we do anything else, I'm just going to go back and save my game. Okay, so... Make sure you guys res spec everybody how you want them and then we'll continue okay guys so i just finished uh setting up my party here and i took a break off the game because i was i was uh tired and i finished setting up henrik and the rest of my party members here except uh, for henrik here specifically i changed him to great sword path instead of axes because I think this path might be better for him now at this point in the game. So that's just the only difference I made for Henrik. Now, we're gonna go this way. If you take a look at the map, you'll see that there's some side quests that we can do now. So I'm just gonna go down here. Now let's open up the map here. Here's where I am. We're gonna go get this side quest right down here. So let's go inside and... Talk to this guy. Start a new quest. So, Wisdom of the Warrior King. Okay, so once you guys pick up that quest, we're gonna head right over to the item shop there and get the next quest. So let's go ahead right there right now. All right, here we go. Here's the next quest, right by the item shop. So I'm just gonna start this one really quick here. Uh, this one's gonna require us to get an item. Okay, so this quest is the Holiest of Harps. So the first quest we're going to do is the Wisdom of the Warrior King. And it says that we can find the books in Galopolis, Sniffleheim, Benamna, and Heliodor. So I'm going to start at Galopolis first. Okay, so here I am in Galopolis. I just teleported here. So the first book is we can where we can find it is in the Sultan's Palace. So we're just going to head, head there right now, open this, these doors, and we're going to head right to the Prince's Bedchamber, if you remember where that is. It's on the right side over here. So we're just gonna run over and open these uh, chambers to the right. And there should be a bookshelf with the book that we need for the quest. We, we need four of these books. Okay, so the first book in the prince's bed, bed chamber here is this book right here. Now, if you skip the dialogue, just skip along until the very end, you're gonna see that it says, your character name, the hero, has uncovered one of Drustin's teachings and learned the secret of offense. So that's one of the books. Now we just need three more. And we're gonna teleport to the next location. Okay, here I, here I am in Helidor Castle. I'm gonna open the map. Right on the bottom floor, when you teleport to Hel Hel Helidor Castle, just head to the left corridor. And here, here's where I am right now. I'm gonna open up the doors here, and in the top left is gonna say, bottom floor, Jasper's Quarters. So we're looking for one of these books. 
that teach us the teaching. So I'm just gonna skip a dialogue until I find that book. Oh, this one's a recipe book. Okay, we don't- that one's not it. Okay, I don't think that one was it either. Let, let me try the, the last one here. Yeah, this might be it. This one, I think this is it. Okay, so we uncovered one of Justin's teachings and learned the secret of spirit. So that's two of them now. Now let's teleport to Champ Savage Self. Make sure you go to the self location. I like the new music now. Much better. The new overworld music. Don't, wouldn't you guys agree that it's much better now? Okay, so from the south, we're gonna go this way. Oh, this this music bring back, brings back nostalgic memories. I love it. I don't know why they couldn't make music this good for the whole entire game. But... But the music wasn't too bad, anyway. Not as bad as people make it out to be, anyway. As long as you uh, lower the volume. So I think this is the book right here, actually. Yeah, I think this is it. Okay, so we uncovered Justin's Secret and learned the mysteries of movement. That's three out of four books. So now let's teleport to... Okay, we're gonna teleport to the Snarefeld campsite and we're gonna head right to the Royal Library. All right, so we're gonna have to open up these, uh, these bookshelves again so that we can go upstairs in the library. So if you don't remember how to do that, we're supposed to be hitting those green switches. Okay, so come over here and hit the switch. We have to open up the bookshelves again so we can go to level three. Okay, so once you hit that switch, we're gonna head this way, and now th this one is glowing over here, so we're gonna open this path up. And this should allow us to go upstairs to level two. There we go. So let's go up to level two. Go through here. Okay, so I think we can cross this way. I have to check to see if the other side is open. I don't think it is though. Alright, so once you cross the bridge here, we're gonna go this way. And hit this switch so we can open up to a uh, path to level 3. There is new monsters here as well if you guys want to fight them. I'm just gonna head right past this bridge now and go up to level 3 so we can grab the book for the quest. I can always get new monsters after. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna have to go all the way around. Okay, so here's what we're gonna have to do. Once you get to level 3, we're gonna have to go up these stairs and we're gonna have to go around to the other side of level 3. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go up these stairs here. Now we're on level 4. Okay, so we're gonna have to go up to level 4 and open up the path to the other side of level 3. So we need to find another one of those uh, switches and hit that switch. Here's the switch over here. Okay, so let's hit, hit the switch here. This should open up level th the other side of level 3. Okay, once you hit that switch, we're gonna make a right turn and we're gonna go down these stairs now so we can enter the other side of level 3 now that it's open. So here's level 3 again. And we're on the opposite side of it. Remember before we were all the way down south, now we're up north. This is where the book is going to be found. Alright, avoid that guy. And I think this might be the book here. Yep, I think that's it. There we go, we got... We uncovered Justin's secrets and learned def mysteries of defense. And that's all of them. So now it says we read, we read all the books. All right, so now it said we read all the books. Now we can teleport right back to the um, havens above and we can complete the quest. All right, so once we teleport here, let's go up these stairs. And if you remember, the quest that we got was on the left side here and it was right at the inn. So that's this platform right over here. Okay, so once you uh, land, let's talk to this guy and complete our quest. It says, Henrik mulls over Justin's words of wisdom. He has a sudden moment of clarity and sees how to make Blind Man's Biff much more powerful. You have to make sure you know that ability, Blind Man's Biff, now it's much more powerful for Henrik. 
and that's the re the re reward a boost for blind man's biff ability. All right, so that's not too bad. Okay, so the next qu quest requires us to actually open one of those uh, ultimate key doors, and I don't really want to open any ultimate key doors right now. So we're gonna do that quest in a different episode. So I'm gonna end the walkthrough right here, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. <laughs>